everyone. I recently finished this journal. This is a quick journal that I made. If you're interested in how I make it, let me know in the comments. I will definitely post a video about it because it is a special, easy, and quick technique to be quite honest about it. So I had a lot of papers, a lot of, I'm cleaning my office. This is taking me forever, by the way. So I had a lot of jelly prints, you know, things like this, scrap, paper, magazine, cutouts, and the like. I wanted to clean up some of my papers, use some of them. I made this quick journal. It didn't take me very long to do it. And it's made in a certain way of folding paper and stacking uh, pages together and just using glue. No sew, no, none of that. So I just literally used glue stick. And this is what happened. So I made a giant page and I cut it down to the size of these pages so that there was no pre-planning where things were gonna end up in the journal. So again, these are scrap pieces of paper. I just laid them out and tried to make them look like something. Now, I, I can add much more to this, but this was just the start of what I was doing. So these were all things, like this is a, rubber stamp that I made. Oh, the video, I'll have to find the video and link it below. These are some stickers that I made myself. This is just a cool design that I pulled out of a magazine. This is an off cut from a jelly printing session that wasn't particularly successful. And yet it looks fine in this journal, right? All these pieces, we can write over these. We can glue more things in here. I mean, this is a true junk journal type book. So that's what I love about it. This was a daffodil that I tried to print on the jelly plate and I just love the way it came out. It reminded me of an x-ray. I kind of love that. This w was me testing another stamp that I made. So a uh, ink stamp. This looked very ghost-like to me. Maybe it's not this page, maybe it's on another page. This is when I made my own washi tapes and this was what was in between when I laid the washi tapes out and I just loved that. So I had saved that. Um, oh, this is the one that looks very ghostly to me. So it kind of looks like this is a background and it's foggy and maybe this is an image of a person. This is more of that washi tape that I had made. This was the in-between stuff. This is a piece of actually um, painted on masking tape. That's what that was. These are little circles I had punched out. This is more of my rubber stamping. This is from another book that I created, this design. It didn't really come out right, and yet I kind of loved it. These are just all offcuts. This is more rubber stamp printing. This is the daffodil uh, with blue, but nothing else came out. It was just masked there, so I love that. This particular piece of paper, oh gosh, I just love this paper. It doesn't look like much, I'm sure, to you. This was a magazine that I kept, I ripped the page out. I was doing a lot of jelly printing this day, and I just kept rolling my roller, my sprayer off on this piece of paper. And what happened was it became very leathery, and it feels so, it's very tactile. It feels so amazing. So I loved it, so I saved that. This is a scrap I ripped off of something. That's fine, some music paper. These are deli papers that had paint on them. Oh, this is another print that I pulled off the jelly plate. It was a, a tree. So again, jelly plate pulls, like this is a definite jelly plate cast off. This is another one. This was one where I tried to do some stars. This is some of this paper and more art paper. Some designs that I found, some other things that I found. So these ultimately more of my stickers that I made some black and white photos that I had saved that were from a book or something. Uh, some writing in Spanish. So these I just were th things that I saved that I wanted to do a book with. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this and knowing more about it, uh, let me know below and I'll do a video on how to make your own journal like this. This is very inexpensive. It's really a cool way to do a journal. Gluing the pages together, you can see they're quite sturdy. So you get a very sturdy journal out of it. And it can be your go-to, your own personal journal, or it can be something you just keep on your desk. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the flip through. I will see you next week and thank you for being here.